An hour outside of Santiago, in the San Bernardo region, Chileans have hit on the newest superfood craze. Put down that acai goji mangosteen kombucha and say hello to Mackey Berry. Maki has been around for centuries. It's a super berry. The native people of the Mapuche tribes have known this for centuries. This is my friend, Boris Irmas. He's the owner of South Am Freeze Dry, where, you guessed it, they freeze dry and package tasty fruits and vegetables, including the Maki berry. When the superfood searchers and the scientists discovered the Mackey, what were the properties that they discovered compared to other superfoods? They realized that Mackey has a very, very high antioxidant count, which is just, uh, you know, really off the charts. To see how the Mackey makes its way from the tree to an overpriced cleanse, Boris took me on a tour of the factory. So we're about to go into the actual food part. And we need to suit up. After transforming into two very hip lunch ladies, it was time to go inside. All right, we're looking good. And we're set, man. OK. Let's go. Let's do it. This way. OK. This is where the process starts. We freeze it in a previous facility. It's brought here. So we need to raise the temperature a bit wash it, take out, sort all the leaves, the twigs, everything. After the berries warm up, they need to get cold again. So they're wheeled into a giant freezer. After a few hours, they're then wheeled into what's called the freeze tunnel, where they stay for about 24 hours. As the tunnel sucks away, all of their moisture. You basically create, on a very large scale, a high vacuum. The water crystal in the food goes from solid into gas state without going through the liquid state, preserving the nutritional value of the food. But Boris didn't invent this process. Far from it. You obviously have all this modern equipment, but you were saying in South America, some of these techniques actually go back hundreds of years. It is said that the Incas discovered the way to freeze dry the fruit, given the high altitude in the mountains that would, would have a, a lighted pressure because of the atmosphere, which is what basically we do with the tunnels. And you have extreme changes of temperature. And then back in the 50s, NASA refined the process to create what is known today as, as astronaut food, which is used in all sorts of things. Finally, it was time for the most important step, the taste test. We have here maki berry, blueberry, pineapple, and banana powder to prepare a smoothie in your honor. You see how the purple overcomes everything. So let's give it a try, man. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. It's delicious, it's nice. man. Look at our lips. It looks like lipstick. <laughs> That's a nice color on you. <laughs> I mean, I saw the value in freeze-drying the food because it is fun, it's crunchy, uh -huh. it's different to what you had. It, it does look like you consume a lot of water when you could just pluck something off a tree. We try to be efficient with it. We, we basically, what you're taking out is the water that the, the produce itself has. We recycle that water, heating the tunnels with warm water. We've tried to make it efficient with the micro turbines. So we try to balance it all and, and keep our carbon path low. Boris has already started selling the Mackey powder around the world for use in smoothies and supplements. May we all have purple lips and live forever.